So I just made this super chilled beat in Logic Pro 10 using Logic's Harp emulator. I'm going to run you through the beat and show you what sounds, plugins and techniques I used and hopefully you'll see and hear some cool stuff that you can use in your own beats. Cool, so I started the beat by grabbing Logic's stock harp, loading up Scripter in MIDI effects, and then selecting Harpeggiator. This comes stock with Logic Pro 10, by the way, and here is what I played. I then bounced it in place so that I was working with audio as opposed to MIDI. Scripter can behave a bit oddly sometimes, so if you achieve the sound that you want, I suggest bouncing it down straight away just to preserve that sound. And um, audio is also less CPU intensive and more flexible, so it's a win-win all around. I then rolled off some of the top using EQ added Color Copy by UA and loaded up Delverb, which is a cross between a delay and a reverb as the name suggests. This particular preset and this effects plugin in general colors the sound a lot and gives your sound more character. At the end of the 8 bar loop, I created a new track for the harp and added Half Time by Cable Guys. Does what it says on the tin and this created the perfect change for the build up into the chorus. To make a clearer transition between the full speed and the half time harp, I used the fade tool to create a slow down effect. The transition is also smoother with the half time occurring at the end of the first section as opposed to the beginning of the second section as it helps bridge the gap between both sections. The harp makes a few other changes throughout the track but the sounds, plugins and techniques used are the same throughout. Let me show you how I then took this harp and built upon it. First, I picked up some drums from Splice, as I do, and they've actually hooked me up with a code to give you guys an exclusive 30-day free trial. The link is in the description below, but it's where I get all of my drum samples, percussion loops, vocal chops, guitar licks, and more. So if you need samples to lift the quality of your music productions, be sure to check that out. So I laid a simple beat down, keeping it chill, Grabbed this percussion loop again from Splice. Cut out just the small part that I wanted. Did a bit of EQ cutting the highs and the lows. Then added another instance of color copy, but this time using the dirty mono flange preset. And this really changed up the sound. And now in my humble opinion, it really complements the drums, especially the way it hits with the snare. Again, we're just changing things up to make things sound more interesting and to complement each other. Along that same vein, I picked up this random vocal chop again from Splice. And lastly, filled up some space with this saucy pad from UA's Diva. The pad continues into the pre-chorus with the harp, but the drums actually drop out here, giving us a bit of a breather, but also adding to the impactfulness of the chorus, where we bring back in our drums and introduce a couple of new instruments. So for the chorus, the harp remains half-timed, the hi-hat plays a double time, and our first new instrument is a synth bass, an instant way to make something sound bigger and fuller. I actually played around with a few different bass sounds here, between Monarch and Repro 1, and I can't lie, I had trouble deciding on which one actually sounded better. So I thought if I play them to you, maybe you can decide for me down in the comment section below which one sounds best.
Our last instrument is an electric guitar playing the chords from the chorus. Again, I picked these up from Splice, and I mean, it's pretty easy to find what you're looking for. From Splice, I just typed in guitar chords, bada bing, bada boom. And that's it for this video. To hear the full arrangement, just head to the link in the description below. There's a nice exit out of the chorus and also a bridge that I haven't shown in this video. If you need high quality industry standard samples to elevate your music productions, check out Splice. Also via the link in the description below to get my exclusive 30 day free trial. And lastly, for more beat making videos showing sound, plugins and techniques that help you with your own music productions, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on alerts so that you never miss a video. I've been Stefan and as always, happy beat making.